Hey, what's going on ladies and gents, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today I'm going to be making a video about Ball's Banner just before any of you guys summon. But before we get into it guys, please consider liking the video as well, subscribing to the channel as well. I really do appreciate every single one of you and everyone that showed love and support for the past few videos that I've made and my channel as a whole. So thank you guys so much, I really do appreciate it. First thing I wanted to talk about before summoning on the Raiden Shogun banner is that um, she's going to be an Electro Polearm user. Um, Electro itself is an energy recharge type element as we've seen in the past especially with the elemental resonance we can all see that it is an element that helps with energy recharge mainly so that's why i guess they made the raiden shogun or the archon or the representative for the electro element itself to be energy recharge based i guess that does make sense in a lot of cases and it makes sense here is she going to be the you know the strongest unit in the game obviously i do not think that is true but she is going to be great in terms of quote-unquote support why i put the quotes there is because mihoyo called her a support unit or support character so we're going to be the judge of that when she releases cannot wait to do some testing on her her elemental skill helps energy recharge and also i think in some way shape or form increases all damage from the team or for your team rather so the higher the energy cost for your ultimate is, the stronger the ultimate is going to be. So that's very interesting. I found that, uh, that I mean, it's a pretty new type of, um, it's a new type of mechanic added into the game. So I thought it was pretty interesting and uh, I cannot wait to see how it, uh, how it works. I'm not quite sure by how much exactly what the numbers are, but she does boost the damage and I'm, I wonder how much or how good it's going to be. So yeah, we're going to have to wait until that releases to tell you guys about it. So keep in mind guys that she is Electro, so her elemental reactions aren't going to be the most amazing. Which means elemental mastery is probably not going to be very important on the Raiden Shogun. So please keep that in mind. Um, something important is elemental reactions. So not having, you know, the whole vaporize or melt is going to be pretty costly in terms of DPS damage in general if you guys are planning to build her as a DPS. So please keep that in mind before you do summon on her banner. Uh, I know it's kind of a given because she's a support character, but I just wanted to mention that in case any of you guys did not know or weren't aware. So please, please, please do consider that before summoning on her banner. You might want to just try her out before she, you know, before you start rolling on her so obviously when she comes out you're going to have the chance to try her out in a trial run um, which i suggest everybody should be doing anyways um, the trial run will help you guys determine if you actually do want this character if you find the character fun at all and uh, yeah please 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 do you know complete the trial run just in case you guys don't really enjoy her playstyle a really really simple thing but it does have an effect okay so I also wanted to talk about the other four stars that are going to be on her banner. Only confirmed that Kujosar is going to be on the banner, but I have predicted that the banner might have Shangling, Sara, as well as Sucrose on it. Obviously, it's not 100% confirmed. It's all speculation from my previous video that I made that I speculated what kind of characters would be on that banner just purely off of you know past banners and in general just mostly guessing <laughs> um please do keep that in mind if you guys want those four stars you can get you know you can get those now um and if you don't you might want to reconsider summoning on her banner as a whole right so please do keep that in mind as you continue on forward with your genshin impact journey especially if you guys are free to play make sure you guys know what you're doing so you don't waste any of your primary gems obviously a lot of you guys don't really care about meta or how good characters are so i mean if you're that type of person i don't think you would be watching this video anyway so uh for those of you who do care um her character as a whole seems to be interesting i'm talking about kujo sara and i really do hope she's going to be good in general obviously we don't know anything about her yet you know a character overview i guess just like they did with the raiden shogun so we're just gonna have to wait until that releases and i'm gonna you know tell you guys more about it when that happens however for now we only know the stuff they talked about in the live streams how she might be able to damage boost something similar to bennett which i'm gonna be 
utilizing a lot so i'm gonna be trying to build kujasara as well just to help out my team compositions and give bennett a little bit of a break really <laughs> from jamming him into every single team um shangling obviously fantastic unit no matter what as you guys know i do have a free to play account or if you guys don't know i do have a free to play account and shangling is my main dps on there so i have lots of respect for Shangling. Not to mention there's going to be a new weapon that's going to make Shangling that much greater as well as Ball. It's called The Catch. If you guys haven't seen Genshin Impact's Twitter, um, they released some information about The Catch and it's going to be a polearm that has energy recharge that increases crit rate of the elemental burst as well as increase the damage of the elemental burst themselves. So it's going to be absolutely fantastic for any Shanglings there, for any Balls there sorry about that but yeah it's going to be pretty good any character on that banner seems to be pretty good to me at least in a sense of where i you know how i predicted those so it's going to be pretty good in general if i had to guess so if you are free to play i would consider summoning on this banner no matter what because the, those units are pretty good Obviously, you're a different individual, you might not want these characters at all, so please do make a decision based on or off your own account, so please make sure you make a decision. There's also going to be the new weapons that are going to be added on the Event Wish banner. Obviously, I don't know the second Event Wish banner weapon, however, I do know the Engulfing Lightning is going to be one of them, which I think is a pretty good weapon for those of you who want Shangling to be their main DPS as well as Bot. And Ball is going to really make good use of this weapon, so if you guys want this weapon, it's a good idea to get it. However, I do want to warn every single one of you that the weapon banner is really, really not good to summon on. So if you are free to play, stay away from this banner no matter what. Alright, stay away from this banner. The catch is going to be more than enough, especially on R5, or if it's r 5 ball, it's going to be fantastic fantastic so please 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 wait until people do reviews wait until people make the mistakes and then go off that so if i were to suggest anything to you guys is wait a few days until people do make those reviews and people release content on youtube itself for you guys to make a decision if you wanted to go for the weapon or not because I myself, I'm going to be rolling on ball. I'm going to be trying out the new weapon. And I want you guys to come along with me on that journey. So if you guys want to see every single thing about that, consider liking this video as well. Subscribing to the channel so you guys don't miss out on a video. Because it's going to be a hectic ride from here on out. And I want you guys to be part of the journey. All in all, it's going to be great. I can't wait for ball to come out. I can't wait for Kujasara to come out. Uh, especially to see their trailers or demos and stuff. And it's going to be pretty interesting from here on now so i mean that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to talk about just be careful on what you want to summon i just wanted to heed some warnings to you guys before you guys decide to use your primate gems on this banner especially if you guys are free to play i know a lot of you guys are so please do consider everything i said in this video before you summon on her banner thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy if you did as i said before multiple times Consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. See you guys in the next video very, very soon. Goodbye.